This week on the Digital Marketing Scoop, we're talking about how to use influencers in 2020. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of the Digital Marketing Scoop. So this week we're going to be talking about influencers and influencer marketing in 2020. Um, so I suppose, Pamela, you want to kick it off there maybe with kind of the different, the, I suppose the different types of influencers, maybe the different types of partnerships you could have in that space? Yeah, so I think it's important to differentiate the types of influencers there is. So say there's celebrities, first of all. So that's your reality stars, your singers, your actors and all of that. They would generally have like one million plus followers, maybe 300 million, <laughs> depending <laughs> on who it is, um, plus followers on Instagram and the likes of that. Um, then you've got your macro and your micro influencers. So that's probably what people listening to us would probably be using. Yeah. So you've got your macro influencers, say they'd have over 100,000 followers Um they're quite big in their region, say Ireland. Now we've got the likes of like Just Jordan, Terry McAvoy, uh, Sosumi, all of those. Um, and then you've got your micro influencers. So they are smaller. Um, they could be like between five to 50,000 or something like that. Um, and they are more kind of your local people who are gaining traction Um and they're just they're probably the best ones to kind of use definitely for local in, brands in terms yeah and definitely in terms of cost effectiveness as well yeah um i mean there's there you can get a lot from the from the smaller influencers because they're they're obviously they're out there they're yeah, they're, 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 they're growing they're eager yeah. yeah yeah um they're not i think i heard a, whether it's true or not i heard a stat the other day was at the rock uh, for one post is 1.25 million. I heard that on the radio as well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if it's true or not, but my God, that's Amazing, ridiculous. Yeah, because yeah, he bumped uh, Kylie Jenner is now second. Um, I think she's around oh, the 900,000, really? yeah, <laughs> so, per post. So micro-influencers, definitely, definitely the, <laughs> More the way to go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so but then you've got all these different partnerships, so some of these mightn't cost you a lot anyways um you've got your kind of pr drop so if you're launching a new product you send it to micro influencers who might be interested in that product already using that product i think it's important to say that influencers who are like a brand fan already um probably like suit your brand we'll go into choosing the right influencer for you but if that um, influencer already likes your products they might like the new product so you can get their information and send them the product and I think it, with PR drops you need to make like the box and the packaging really colourful and make crazy. Make it an event. Yeah make yeah. it crazy um, so that they want to post about it because they're not getting paid to post about it but they've received the free product and they're really excited so they will yeah. post about it then and hopefully tag you and the great thing with people like that as well is you know they're, they're already they're already sold on your brand they already love your brand they're going yeah. to sell it so hard basically yeah, you know, yeah but in really their exist. own way in their own natural way that their followers are used to as yes. opposed to kind of an inorganic salesy yeah, way yeah like yeah. if you tell them what to say when you send it to them it, it won't disaster work. Yeah. yeah and then you've got so your ads and sponsored posts so we always see hashtag ad hashtag sponsored so this is where the brand has paid for the influencer to post about the product on their feed or on their stories and they are getting paid for that promotion so the brand might have agreed certain not a script, but, you know, the right things Points. to say yeah, 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 yeah. to promote the product in the right way. Um, and then you've got affiliate links. So affiliate links are really handy. You get discounts like the um, followers get the in discount and then the brand will pay the influencer. influencer yeah. It's not that much, actually, because people sometimes stay away from affiliate links because they're like, oh, no, they get all my money or whatever. It's, it doesn't work that way. The brand <laughs> pays the influencer um, and it's only a very small amount, but they can, it's really handy for brands then for tracking um, which influencers are bringing the most. Performing the best, yeah. yeah. Which is a nice way, actually, of, you know, bringing a, a tracking element to the to influencer marketing. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then you've got your brand ambassador. Um, I think this is a great one because the... Um, influencer is invested in the brand so they have like a three or 12 month contract or something like that and they post about the products or the service or whatever it is um constantly in their own way when whenever they're kind of using it or you know that kind of way so they're invested in the brand and they work together yeah it has to be someone who loves the product yeah or exactly really, yeah. yeah and you want them to be invested and then they come up with their own ideas and like collaborations then where they bring all the creatives because i think it's actually great 
for brands who don't say have like a videographer or a creative team they can just get an influencer and let them be the creative person um, and drive all the ideas for them and yeah. shoot all the videos and then just send them the content yeah i love it's that brilliant. idea we were talking about the other day like of, of you know basically essentially for a business you know getting someone like that on board yeah making the influencer essentially your content creator exactly um, yeah i thought that was that was a great idea i think that's definitely something more businesses should should look into yeah um, and i think it's it's just important to choose the right influencers who are good at video editing and good yeah. at uh, creative ideas and all of that kind of stuff they can't just be doing the smiley happy posts anymore it has to be really creative yeah. and cool content that they can send the brand i suppose that does bring us on to you exactly that choosing the right influencers yeah. for your brand i think that is probably something small or medium businesses do have a difficult time with yeah um the way i always look at it is uh, i i suppose I, I look at it from from the ad side of things with the audiences again mm. is is this the target audience for my product first of all for my yeah. product or for my service um if if you're a, and again if you're a mass market product you just hoping to get every influencer on board or whatever <laughs> it's not really the way to do it you d- no. you have to get niche you have to get granular so yeah. definitely finding um finding you know those smaller micro influencers that have audiences very similar to yours yeah. um i is, think is you ideal. should ask for the influencers um insights as well because yeah. there is influencers say they're 28 but their followers are actually only 14 so if you think you're like hitting a 28 year old market you mightn't be so you, m- you need to make sure that their audience is actually who you're targeting because it's not the influencer it's themselves it's their yeah. audience and there's a couple of handy tools online i actually can't think of the name of my hand, so we might just drop the link in the show notes yeah, we will. um is the one you know for checking like the region people are in so obviously if you're an uh an irish product or service or even a cork product or service and all this person's followers are in the US yeah. or India <laughs> or England, it's yeah. not going to make sense that um, that you're you're hiring them to promote your product. So there's a site you can go in, just pop in their their information. It'll kind of spit back where their where their followers yes. are based, basically. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think I think that's I think that's really important because you know in the the era of buying followers, you oh, know you yeah. need to uh, <laughs> you need to watch out for that. Yeah, <laughs> and one of our points is actually authenticity. So are you are is the um, influencer authentic in their ways um, and I think that's where we were talking about you know when they have creative freedom and they're not told by the brand what to say they become more authentic but I think influencers do want to be seen as more authentic and only using things that they actually like they don't want to yeah. be told what to say anymore well I think it doesn't I mean I have discussed this before you you forcing someone to do that is basically just giving them a sales script and that's the way it's going to come across. Yeah. Everybody who's followed that person didn't follow them to see that stuff. They followed yeah. them to see their own content. So if they're promoting your product naturally in their own way, it's going to work. If you're exactly, forcing yeah. them to say, oh, we have to get this point across, so we yeah. have to have this. Oh, the logo needs to be bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's just, it's yeah, not. Yeah, people not just flick past. They know. Yeah, straight away. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so, and then just to bring into the mix the content, so the content creators versus the influencers. Um, so some celebrities, like, they're popular, but they're not great content creators. So I think with the micro-influencers, they're a better bet as well because they create the content for you. They have it on their page. And what is so important is to have it on your page too. <laughs> um, I see a lot of brands don't have all that amazing content on their own social media sites. And it's it's crazy because if someone actually clicks through, okay, they've been tagged now on the influencer that they're following, they click through and it looks like you're not even associated with them. Yeah. So you have to link up there and like use all that amazing content yeah. that and they're it's, it's providing. Con- it's content you... Yeah you know paid for giving away a product for or whatever you've exactly. done, done so yeah definitely you need to use that and be chopping it up and reusing it in your stories and then across all your other platforms exactly, as well. exactly yeah exactly um so yeah that is it we were just going to say about creative freedom but i think we already touched on that yeah. a lot so uh, it is an important one but yeah definitely yeah brilliant that's been this week's episode of the digital marketing scoop